In this video, we're going to create the actual recipe input form, and we're going to modify a couple of fields and add a couple of fields. Then we will turn around and we will actually import a couple of uh, recipes so that you can see how the actual input form works. Hey, it's Tom Thayer here from Tech and Gadgets Review, where we help you learn about all the different technologies and gadgets that we've run into over the years. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe. All the links mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box below. So let's just jump into it. Formidable forms, WP data tables, and Woody ad snippets are simply the best foundation for building the type of web application that we're going to be doing in this video series. In this video, we're going to create a form and we're going to create a view and you're going to see formidable forms and the power that you can get with it and how quickly and easily you can build your web application with it. All right, so to start with, we're going to just click on add new here and we're just gonna type in recipe in here because we're gonna take their default template, which is the recipe catalog and we're going to modify it rather than creating everything from scratch. So we'll click on create and now you will see that it has created a form which it's got the recipe name, the description, the cuisine, and it's got a whole bunch of different uh, things in here already as you can see. Okay. Uh, the dish type, the primary ingredients, there's the ingredients, instructions, and so on and so forth. The one thing that this is pretty complete, but the one thing that I always like to do is I like to have a picture of it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add fields and you're going to go to the file upload, okay? I know that it's not intuitive, but it is what you actually wanna do. So we're gonna drag a file upload into there and we're gonna click on it and then we're gonna rename it to image, okay? Now, you can allow multiple images to be uploaded at the same time, but we will actually deal with that later on, okay? For right now, this is all we're going to do. We're gonna say, choose file, okay? We can also specify the allowed types. So in this case, we're just going to allow JPEGs and PNGs because they can be actually be compressed and be relatively small. So now that we've got the image in there, we can preview this in the theme. And here's the actual recipe catalog. So the next thing we're going to do is if you notice the file upload did not show up. So we're gonna take a peek and see why that happened. What we need to do is we need to update the form. Now that we've updated the form, if we go back and we preview it in the theme, you're gonna see there's the actual image upload. Okay, so now that we've got our form, we're actually going to enter in a recipe in here. And I've already saved the ingredients and the instructions for it. So it's gonna be chicken curry. On here, we've got our best chicken curry. And what you're gonna notice is it actually uploads a little description of it there, see? Now the description of it, we're gonna simply say an amazing chicken curry. Curry, I happen to love chicken curry, so that's why I chose it. So we're gonna go Indian. It's going to be a main. We're gonna say the primary ingredient is curry. And then I've got my ingredients list over here. So I'm just gonna copy it in and put it in there. There's the ingredients list is in there. The instructions I've got here. The prep time is 10 minutes. Cook time is 20 minutes. Number of servings we'll say will be four. And of course, I've got to give the original recipe 
trip. So you can see that we now have our recipe here and stuff, and we're going to submit it. And it says your responses were submitted. So if we go back and we look at the entries now, there's your amazing chicken curry. So creating the form was as easy as doing that. Adding in an actual image so that we could upload it was as simple as doing that. And you can see that actually creating a form is quite easy. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a view so that we can see this catalog of recipes that we're making. So we're going to click on views and we're going to say add new. And we're going to say recipes listing. Okay, it's going to come from the recipe catalog. We're going to list all the entries. Okay, so now that we've created the view, we want to set it up in a tabular format. So how we're going to do that is I've already got some stuff set up over here. I'm going to take, I'm going to define a table in the before content area. And you're going to notice that it's got the recipe name, the image and the dish type, and then actions. And then down here, this is where you want to make sure that you're in text and you want to disable the visual editor for this so that you don't lose any of your formatting. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to copy this here. So we've got the inner workings of the table. And because this was the recipe name, we're going to put that in there. Inside of here, we want the image. Here we want the dish type. So you'll click on dish type. And inside of here, we're going to put in an action. And what you do with that is you click on the advanced and then you actually go down and you find the edit entry link link. OK, because we're going to want to edit it. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to copy the body and the table and go down into the bottom here so that you can close it off. OK, so now if we save this, so we're going to publish this form. If we preview this form, you're going to see that right now we get chicken curry. You'll see that there's a link in here. The dish type is main and there's nothing in the actions. And I'll explain how, what this is all about. So first of all, let's fix up the actual image. So let's go back into here and where it says image, which is 28 right there. What you want to do is you want to put in an image tag. OK, so how you do that is you put in that less than and an image and say source equals. Double quote, close it off. Go backslash greater than sign. OK, so now what will happen if you look, if we update that and we preview it, you're going to see there's your image. OK, so it's got chicken curry image. The dish type is main and then we don't have anything under the actions. Well, the reason we don't have anything under the actions is because we have not set this form up so that it can be edited. OK, so to do that, you go to settings. And you scroll down to form permissions and you say allow front end editing of the entries. And the only people that can edit it are people that are logged in. OK, now we can get in. We'll get in later on on creating all the editing features and so on and so forth. But we're going to update that now. So now if we go back to our view, so we click on views. We click on the recipe listing and if we click on preview, what you're going to see is that there's now an edit link in here. So now what we have done is we have created the form and we've created our first view. So in the next video, we will go into extending upon this functionality. Okay, so as a bonus to all of this, what we're going to do is we're going to link up this edit so that we can actually edit our recipe. So let's do this. If you remember down here when we put in the edit link, 
you'll see that there is a page underscore ID equals X. Well, what that's asking for is a page ID where you are going to put a form. So let's do it this way. We're gonna to go to pages. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna open this in a new tab so we can come back and reference things. So we're gonna call this our add edit recipe, okay? Inside of here, what you're gonna notice is that there's a button here that says formidable. So let's grab the recipe catalog and we're going to insert it into there and you'll see formidable ID equals three. So we're simply gonna publish this page now. And if you look up here, it says post equals 23. 23 is the page ID that you want to put in over here. So we're gonna replace the X with 23 and we're going to update the page. So now what happens is that if we preview this page, you're gonna see what happens is that it comes up with a add edit recipe and the recipe like you saw before, okay? So now what's gonna happen is that if we go and we preview our view now, and if we click on edit, what's what it's going to do is it's going to go over to that page and it's going to pull in all of the entries and everything we put in there before. So if I turn around now and I, and I change the recipe name to Amazing Chicken Curry and I scroll down and I update that, it's now going to say that everything was successfully saved. So if I close that page and I go back and I preview my view again, you're gonna see that it now says amazing chicken curry. So that's how you set up your edit page and link your edit.